Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 13th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the if statement in Python and the if statement allows us to evaluate expressions or conditions and uh, do stuff on the basis of whether the condition is true or false. So what I'm going to do is create a very simple script and illustrate the if statement to you through that script. Right, so I have my Python uh, ideally here and what I'll do is I'll press Control N and you can alternatively also go to file and then uh, select new file and uh, you know when I do that this window opens up so I can type in some code for a script and then save it and then execute it in the Python environment right. So in the script what we're going to do is I create a variable and I'll give it the value 50 I'll call it my var and I'll give it the value 50 and then I'll use the if statement to check whether the variable's value is less than 100 or not and if it is 100 then I'll uh, display a message using the print statement if it's not 100 we're not going to do anything right so we're just going to see the if statement and uh, this is the simplest example I could come up with so I'll type in if and then the name of my variable which is my var I'll use the you know less than operator here and then I'll type in the number 100 because we want to check whether the value is less than 100 or not and then I'll put in the colon and when I press the enter key I see that the cursor blinks on a new line but it blinks a few character spaces ahead right so in Python you know this is how you enter a block of code you know all statements that are at the same level of indentation uh, you know happen to be in the same block of code so whereas in the main program everything works you know without any space whereas uh, if you get inside a block of code then you have to indent your code by a given number of space characters so if you're working with a text editor not the python ideally and if your text editor does not support python programming if you're using something like notepad for instance you know even if you pre-save your file with the py extension it's not going to detect whether you're typing python code or php code or you know uh, code from some other language and it's not going to you know have this indentation ready for you you know you'll have to manually you know get in a few space characters and you know convention is that you have five characters of space right one tab or five characters of space and that's how you know the beginning or end of code is marked in python and you know this can be a little tricky for people to get used to you know particularly guys who programmed in other languages like you know c plus plus or java in which you use the curly braces to you know mark the beginning or end of your code in python you don't have curly braces and this is just how the developers wanted to make the language you know they didn't like curly braces so you know they just thought that okay we're going to use space characters instead of using curly braces so you know this is how it is and the only problem with this is that you know if you have like one block of code and in that you have another statement and you get into another block of code and then you get into another black block of code you know then your code keeps shifting towards the right and uh, you know that can be a little tricky because you know I have worked on websites earlier you know in which the code was so much towards the right that I had to use the scroll bar to actually go towards the right and see the code but then you know intelligent programmers they uh, get over that too you know they logically organize their programs in such a way that they don't have to shift too much towards the right so anyway let's get back to the program and uh, you know as I said we're going to display a message you know if the uh, state if the expression value is true so I'll use a print statement the print function and uh, wait a second I have to get rid of this extra P and then in double quotes I'll just display something like uh, you are short of being 100% right and uh, when I press the enter key here I see that the cursor blinks you know just below the alphabet P of the print function here so you know Python is ready for me to type another statement within the block of if but if I want to exit the block of if and get back in the block of main I simply have to you know uh, press the backspace key on my keyboard and I'm uh, you know back at the level of if so now I'm outside the block of if and we'll you know see that when we execute the program and I'll uh, just have another print function here you know just display something like uh, good by I'll save the program as uh, I'll save it on my desktop I'll give it the name if and uh, when I go to run and click on run module I see that I see both the sentences you know in the output window so I see you are short of being 100% and I also see goodbye and that's not because they both happen to be within the block of if you know first uh, the variable was created it was initialized with 50 then the comparison was was made and since this expression value to true this if this, this print statement was executed 
and then you know the control was returned to the main program and then this print function was executed but if i change the value of my var to 150 instead of 50 save the file and run the program then you know obviously this sentence is not going to appear in the output so i'll execute it and there you go i just see the message goodbye so that's it about the if statement uh, in the next tutorial we're going to talk about the if else statement and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care